Within this segment, we will look at how to prepare a scatter diagram and the cost behavior estimation. So this Excel problem, I'm going to define exactly what will be computed. The company that I'm working with is Sunco Monthly Sales and Cost Data for the past year. And what is required is the preparation of a scatter diagram. And so the most important component of this is entering the data points within each of the spreadsheets. So I'll enter a column for month sales, which represent based on a problem volume, same as activity and total costs. Um, I'll go ahead and auto fill these and afterwards I will format it so it it's just to know decimal places, represent the month. Then I'm going to enter in the sales numbers really quickly. Just take a second to do that. And then I'll enter in the total cost amount. And this represents, again, the sales volume, where volume represents the activity, and then the total cost for the company. So once I have this set up, I'm going to format it just a little bit, put a grid around it. And then I'm going to highlight the data. I'm going to select insert. And I'm going to point on graphs and choose to scatter graph. So this is what I want. And the plus sign, I can select trend line. So it puts the fit. And I also, I knew that was very quick, but I also clicked on axis title. So I can customize the title on my axis. Again, when I hit the plus sign, it gives you the option you check mark axis and you can name your axis. I'm also going to rename total cost um, in just a second so that it says Sun Company. Now I can go through and I'm going to insert the trend line. So I go to trend line, more options. I'm going to select from the more options, um, go to the very bottom, scrolling, and display the equation on the chart. And just like that, I have the cost equation. So with that, I'm going to drag this down to the bottom, but I'm going to format it and change it so that it has a black background. And I'm going to leave that down there and then set up for the high-low method. So we got this data to do two things. One is to demonstrate the scatter graph, and then the other is the high-low method. So using the data that's there, I'm going to define the steps just as a quick um, review and setup. So if anyone ever looks at my spreadsheet, they know how I've got that. So step one is to identify the highest and lowest activity or volume. Again, based on the problem, it's the sales. Two is to compute the variable cost per unit. And that's essentially, I usually put rise, but I use the dollar symbol as the S to remind me that it's change in cost divided by change in activity. Again, that's equal to my variable cost per unit. And then my third step that I'm going to type in here is to substitute uh -oh, substitute the data into the highest or lowest form equation. And that's going to enable me to find the fixed cost. So with that, let me highlight the, again, based on activity. So this is the lowest sales volume. And then the highest looks like it's 215. So I highlight that, label that high, and now I'm going to go to step number two, which is compute variable cost per unit. So already I'm on variable cost per unit, which is rise over run again. So I'm going to set up a table. Again, this is easier for me, so I encourage you to do this when you're doing homework assignments. So when it's time to do exams, you don't have to set all of this up, but if you keep the format that you use, it's really easy. Just change the variable and substitute um, and let the numbers automatically fill in. So my activity and my high and low, and then I'm going to find the difference. Again, my dollars is at the top, activity is at the bottom. And again, that's because it's rise over run, where rise represent the change in dollars. So I'm gonna use a math equation where 110 minus 58 is going to yield the appropriate number 52. And I'm gonna drag that down and then change it to no decimal places. And now I'm just going to divide 52 over 130 and that gives me my variable cost per unit. So in this case, it's 40 cents per unit. That's my variable cost. So with that computed, I actually can move on to step number three, which is substitute that variable cost per unit value in the data for the high and low. 
going to substitute it in both the high low data just to prove the answer I have a spelling error so I'm correcting that really quickly and my high data you know, I'm gonna go ahead and you know what I think I will go ahead and find the formula just so that it's there and, and then enter in the data but maybe it's appropriate maybe I should just enter why don't I enter headings first that way it's easier to follow what it is that I'm doing so right here I'm gonna put total cost I'll put a heading for variable cost per unit and then I'll put the 40 cents I'll put the number of units or quantity here and I'll just put equal and point at the activity for the high which is 215 and this way I'll be able to compute my total variable cost which will just be 40 cents times 215 now the sum of my total cost uh, my total cost right is equal to total variable cost plus fixed cost and in this you can already tell I know my total variable cost I know my total cost I can solve a fixed cost I'll just put that as an additional column at the end and it's simple math at this point it's 110 minus 86 and that's the high low method it's, it's fairly straightforward but I'll prove it again using my low data so 110 minus 86 is equal to 24 do the same thing so I type in low I enter my total cost which is $58 variable cost is still 40 cents and the volume up there we can see is 85 so I multiply 85 by 40 that gives me 34 and again 58 minus 34 is 24 so it's verified that when I use both the highest and the lowest it's going to equal 24 it's important to note that you can only use the highest and lowest and by the way the fixed cost was in thousands so I defined that in case anyone looks at my spreadsheet they know that this is in thousands and so with that said um, the last item that I need to do is a what if so it gives us this question what if the volume in sales was a hundred or what if it was 170 well that's easy that just means that my units will be multiplied by my variable cost per unit because my fixed cost remains the same at 24 so once I have that fixed cost set as a part of the problem and variable cost at 40 cents I can go ahead and put equal and point at the 100 multiply that out and it's going to give me my total variable let me put that formula in there 100 times 40 and then add up my low of 68 plus 24 and I'm done I just like that I've completed the problem in which I've used a high low method and the scatter diagram to accomplish the cost equation for Sun Company. So a little bit of formatting. Presentation is important. I'll show you what this looked like as a full screen in just a second. And that's it. See you next time. That's the end of the scatter diagram and the high-low method.